In this video we're going to look at how to add audio. Now this document's a little bit more developed than the previous ones. You'll see we've got a navigation bar along the top of the screen and we'll look at how we created that soon. But I also want to show you how you can add audio. It's fairly simple. In one sense you add in a file by placing it into a box. So I'm going to place an audio file and if I look through then I can navigate through to where I've kept my audio files and let's say I want to put this file called remedicating and an mp3 is the format you want to use. Now it seems odd but yes you can place an mp3 file directly into a box here in InDesign. If you have folio overlays up you'll see that the URL has just also been inserted here and it's not editable. You simply place the audio file into the box and it shows up here. Now the controller files are important. You need to create a special folder with some play and pause buttons and you can actually optionally put in a bit more indicating progress through playing but we're going to keep it simple here. What you do is you navigate to wherever you've put these buttons and I've made these two files here basic pause and basic play. Doesn't matter what they're called so long as it ends with underscore pause and underscore play and ping files are the ones to use. So why ping files? Well if I show you what those images actually look like, it looks like they're white but they're actually transparent. You can see they're white on transparent. You can see that there's a pause button and a play button. So flicking back into InDesign I choose the folder containing those two files. I can then, if I wish to, resize it. I'm going to hold down Command and Shift or it would be Control and Shift on a PC and I really actually want to uncheck this, show first image initially. Otherwise when we push the buttons we'll see both buttons together. Now as it turns out I have actually already placed these things in a button so I'm going to delete that and show you the one I've prepared earlier where I've got the URL and the controller files and I've unchecked show first image initially. I'm choosing not to auto play and I don't want it to play in the background. Playing in the background means that if you have a piece of music which plays in one article it would then continue as you look at other articles. Autoplay means that it'll start playing as soon as the article loads. Now that's one of my pet hates is music that automatically starts playing which I can't stop. So I'm going to leave all these options off personally and I'd advise you to leave them off as well because some people will really get annoyed by music that plays, especially music they can't turn off. If I preview this it's going to convert that page, make a new article within the folio and then I'll be able to play that piece of music. Now you can see there that I've got a play button. Even though I didn't check that little checkbox, it is going to show you a play button. I can play it, it'll play the music, but the play button turns into a pause button and I can pause it as well. If you look on the Adobe website, you can get extra instructions on how you can produce a progress bar. So you can actually have a play button which shows you the progress of this track through itself. Uh, at the moment I've just chosen to write the name and the length of the track and have a very simple play and pause so that people who want to listen to a track can get a different track on each article in the folio but it's entirely under their control. In the next video we're going to look at how to add videos.